Prince Harry made a shocking confession about his relationship with Prince William's children and admitted he was a bad uncle when he did not attend a key family event, according to an unearthed biography. Harry and his wife Meghan Markle are thought to have drifted significantly from William and his wife Kate Middleton over the last year or so. All four of them used to live in Kensington Palace estate together with William's children Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, but this year Harry and Meghan moved out to Windsor to live in Frogmore Cottage triggering rumours of a rift. Although the Duchess of Sussex gave birth to the couple's firstborn, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, in May, it is not known if the cousins spend much time together. The two families were last pictured together at a polo match in the summer. While the adults all attended the annual remembrance service earlier in November, the first time they have been seen together in several months. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex both admitted how they were struggling in the spotlight during their explosive ITV documentary Harry and Meghan, An African Journey. Harry also mentioned how he and his brother find it hard to see one another, and as siblings they have good days and bad days. In her 2019 biography, Harry Conversations with the Prince, Angela Levin revealed how the royal once dubbed himself a bad uncle when he missed his niece's christening in 2015. Ms. Levin explained, Harry missed Charlotte's christening, which was held on 5 July at St. Mary Magdalene Church at the Queen's Sandringham Estate, as this time he was in Africa. He felt rather guilty. He reportedly said to the manager of Save the Rhino in Africa, Simpson Uray Cobb. What a bad uncle I am. He added, I should really be there, but today I am here, this is where I want to be. Ms. Levin remarked, he explained that it was a recce trip on behalf of William II, and he'd be taking a lot of new information back home with me for my brother and me to analyze and we're going to work out a strategy for doing more in Africa and to encourage new conservation. He said, it was, something really precious to me and I'm learning a lot. The absence of Harry's own aunt, Princess Anne, at his christening also caused some controversy at the time. A Daily Express report from 1984 said Anne went game shooting with her then husband Mark Phillips instead. Royal correspondent Ashley Walton explained the absence was deliberate and increased speculation that the Princess Royal was furious at not being chosen as godmother for the second time, after being snubbed at William's christening too. Ms. Walton continued, her displeasure grew into a full-scale family row when she learned that her young brother Andrew was to be godfather to three-month-old Prince Harry, while she was again omitted. The royal family confidently expected Anne and Mark to arrive yesterday for the 11 a.m. ceremony. But as the baby was being baptized, the guys were blazing 100 miles away at Gatecombe Park. Harry was not announced as the godfather to any of William's children either. He and Meghan have reportedly decided to keep Archie's godparents a secret, to reflect their wish that their son is raised as a private citizen. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently enjoying a break from their royal duties, as sources claim they are burnt out from the pressure of public life and looking forward to celebrating Thanksgiving with some much-needed family time. The couple also announced that this year they would not be spending Christmas at Sandringham with the Queen and the rest of the royal family but with Meghan's mother Doria Raglan.